Okay, so basically, I want you to tell me the first 20 things that come into your head, and I'm going to use this audio later to draw them. What if your microwave started robbing banks? Like, you drew legs. <laughs> and, like, you just walked out of your house, like, in the middle of the night, and it was starting to rob banks. <laughs> but, like, every morning it comes back in, and, it, like, it's, it just puts itself back where it goes. But it's this... Oh, that'd be great. So that should be microwave bank robbery? Microwave bank robbery. That'd be a good idea. Okay. Uh, giant po oh, duh, Hello Pony. <laughs> like a giant version of Hello Kitty. Giant Hello Kitty. So it's not from like Japan, like regular Hello Kitty. It's like from Norway where everything's bigger. <laughs> from Norway? Okay. <laughs> My great bank robber, that's just funny. <laughs> I was thinking that earlier. Like, you know, the microwave is trying to frame you, and you're like, why are you doing this to me? He's like, because one time you let the popcorn get burnt, and then I smelled bad for like two weeks. It's not like you can really toss a microwave in the shower. Either. Exactly. <laughs> Take it a vengeance out on you. Not your fault that fucking that Redenbacher guy's a dick. Okay. I was on the radio once. Yeah? I did a thing for drunk driving. Oof. Okay. Yeah. It's about warning kids not to drink and drive on prom night. It's like freaking hypocritical. Since you were drinking and driving. I felt like a freaking villain. It was awesome though. And radio stations aren't even like they put in the movies. It's not like fucking airheads. It was in like some guy's garage. Like it was like a house. <laughs> and they're like, well, I'll just go into this room. And it's like, oh, you sure I'm not a radio station? You sure it's in like a rape room? a rape room with a fucking microphone there to record the sounds of my screams. <laughs> was there a clown there? And they're like, oh god, don't put it there. Not yet, watch you are. <laughs> it's scary. And they had like four floors. Why do you need that many floors? Just one person on the damn radio at one time. How many studios do you need? I think it'd be better when you go to Burger King. Yeah? Yeah. No. No, it can be. No. In like, my experience, oh. uh, Burger King makes everything worse. Oh, hell. Your mom's head just exploded. <laughs> Here's a whopper. <laughs> what if they did that too? Like, what if we discovered like Middle Earth, but it was run by otters? <laughs> and everyone like goes down there and like, you know, all the otters are angry about is Peter Jackson because he depicted it wrong with hobbits. <laughs> it's actually run by otters. Um, Peter Jackson didn't depict shit, it was Tolkien. No, but Tolkien only wrote it down. He made it into a movie. Maybe she, maybe there's one word missing from a Tolkien novel that actually says they're all otters. Has anyone actually ever gone over and reread, like, the entire thing word by word? No. Yes. It's like the Bible. Yeah. No, no one reads the Bible. They just all like to pretend. Like, you sit in a coffee house and people are like, oh, hey, did you read Lord of the Rings lately? You're like, oh, yeah, I just finished reading it again two days ago. Oh, really? Because it's like 9,000 fucking pages long. You didn't read it in two days. Why? Says the Methodist, you've never read the Bible. I read the Bible. I don't recall everything in it. There's still many words. It's like the phone book. Isn't that why there's numbers everywhere? That's the phone book. The Bible actually just gives you Job's telephone number. Not Job from Mercy <laughs> Bell, but like Job in the Bible. It's a sex outline. I think I'd like it better if the. Uh, the Bible's was... a sex outline of Jesus. <laughs> God, I almost raced my car driving uh, when I was driving home yesterday. Yeah. Because I saw some guy in a Segway. Like it distracted the hell out of me. I almost ran into the car in front of me. That's not good. Because I thought it was Job. What? Like on 695 or 83? <laughs> no. Fucking Chase. No one drives Segways. Do you drive a Segway or ride a Segway? What's the combination between the word drive and ride? Ride? Drive, I guess. Or dried? Dried. Dried's already a word, isn't it? Yes. Is ride a word? Look that up. Nope. Not a word. Sweet. Copyright that. Okay, right. Stop the process. I told you about how um, one night in class, a bunch of them came up when we were doing a critique outside. No, they, this thinking. wasn't a cop. This guy was in like a fucking suit. I don't no. think they have Segway detectives. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Though. Segway, Segway detectives. detectives. And then like this background of uh, Law and Order keeps popping up. Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> but they have to wait at the crosswalks or everything. They don't like their sirens. <laughs> Segway with sirens on it, like zipping through the intersection. So they would be going that fast, though. They'd be like, they'd be like somebody on one of those freaking uh, those carts that Medicare helps you get going past them. <laughs> what are those things? Like, the scooter store. Yeah, the scooter store. 
They have like fucking Segway and scooter store races. I wonder who'd win. It probably, the probably scooter store win because old people don't give a shit. They just fucking like, <laughs> well, it wouldn't be that fast to be like, <laughs> slowly cutting them off. Let's explore that a little bit. What? Well, everything's bigger in Norway, isn't it? Or is yeah. that Texas? Yeah, that's Texas. Oh, a Norwegian family in Texas. It's <laughs> two giants. <laughs> Their kids are 30 feet high. <laughs> It's like that second horrible movie, <laughs> Honey, I Blow Up the Kids. <laughs> so, if you didn't have a Norwegian Hello Pony <laughs> that was 35 feet high, what would the scenery be? Would that be giant or really tall, tiny? Yeah, everything would be tinier because, like, if you got a... So you're talking about a plastic Trojan horse. If you got a 40 foot high fucking hello pony, the first step it takes, or the first time you move it, it's gonna be in another state. Everything is not bigger in other states. It's only bigger in Texas. What if Orville and Wright? Or, 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 Orville or, Redenbacher? The, the Red popcorn Red bun? No, what did I call it? Orville and Wilbur? <laughs> Orville and Wilbur. <laughs> the retarded cousins of the guys who invented the plane. <laughs> They're sitting in the back with like just taping feathers to their own. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> How do you say the real name? Orville and Wilbur, you retard. I'm pretty sure it's Orville. Oh, no, it's not Orville. <laughs> it's Orville and Wilbur. <laughs> do you think that everybody named Orville has a retarded cousin named Orville? Orville would be great. Every day. <laughs> what would he look like? Orville? Yeah. Oh god, well, did you ever see pictures of Orville? No. It's not like he was the fucking stud of the stud of the stable. Stud of the stable. That's a good term. I'm gonna be a catchphrase. <laughs>